Today, we're going to talk about behaviors in Camtasia. These are effects that can be added to your video or annotations or almost any kind of media, and it adds a bit of animation to your screen. And in this intro, you saw a sample of one of the behaviors. So let's take a look at the navigation menu on the left-hand side of the screen. And here we are at behaviors. Camtasia comes with a few standard behaviors, but they can all be customized. Now, to be honest, I usually use them on annotations more than I use them on video. So for example, I'm going to grab this red arrow and have it point towards the words webinar feedback survey. To add a little visual interest to my red arrow, I'm going to go to behaviors and grab the sliding effect and apply it to the call out. Now what's going to happen when I run the playhead over it is it's going to slide in from the left, pulse for a moment, and then slide out to the right. That's a pretty good start, but I think it's a little bit busy. So I've navigated to the left hand side of the screen to the properties pane, and I'm going to look at the behavior properties. And here I can customize the in, during, and out behaviors. In the style box, it says sliding because that's what I chose when I was in the behaviors navigation element. But I can always click the drop down and change that if I want. Maybe you want to choose drifting, fade in, or shifting. Slide is my favorite, so I'm going to stick with that. Then you can choose the movement. I'm a big fan of the ease in, ease out, but you can choose any of these other options. Let's take a look at spring as an example. To demonstrate the spring, you'll see that the arrow is going to come in and go past the word webinar and then spring back into place. Like transitions, behaviors can be fun to use, but let me give you a tip here. Don't overuse them in your videos. Either go for a subtle effect or just use one or two per video. I'm going to set mine back to ease out. Now let's click on during. And this is going to determine what the behavior will do while the annotation is sitting on the screen. Now the style right now is set to fading and that's why you saw the red arrow pulsing just a little bit. If I have text on the screen, I feel like that's just a little too much. So I like to set it to none. Now I'm going to click the out tab and change the behavior. I didn't like that the arrow went all the way across the screen to the right. I want it to go back out to the left. Let's check it out to make sure it's what I wanted. The arrow comes in from the left, sits on the screen, and it goes out to the left. I think I like that, so I'm going to save it as a preset. Back in properties, click on the plus sign for add preset, and then you'll see a floating box in the middle of your screen, and you just have to give it a name. And then all I have to do is click OK. Now when I go back to the behaviors pane, you might notice that a few of them have a little person icon next to it. These are all presets that I have created. As a bonus tip, I want to share with you how behaviors and text is just a little bit different in my opinion. I'm going to apply the sliding behavior to this sample text. And when I drag the playhead over the text, you'll see that it comes in in pieces instead of all at once. And for some people, this can be hard to read. So what I do to fix that is select the text, go back to the properties pane, choose behaviors, and where it says type text right to left, I will click the drop down, select text, and then choose simultaneous. Then I will go to during and click the drop down for none so that the text just sits there on the screen. Then I will go to out, go back to text and go back to simultaneous. Now when I play it through, you'll see that the text will come in and out as one block, making it easier for people to read. If you want to learn more about Camtasia, see the playlist on the screen now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.